the Kamikaze mission that could one day save Earth, craft to be sent crashing into an asteroid at 14,000 miles per hour to try and alter its course. ESA craft will launch in October 2020 to a binary asteroid system. Paired Didymos asteroids will come a comparatively close 11 meters kilometers. We'll take higher resolution pictures of surface and analyze it. Craft will watch as NASA sends a probe crashing into the asteroid's surface. It is an astronomical nightmare. If an asteroid were spotted headed towards Earth, what could humanity do about it? The European Space Agency's latest mission hopes to find out if crashing into it will help. It is working with NASA to send the lander crashing into a small asteroid's moon at 14,000 miles per hour to see what happens. The mission will take place in two parts, and this month marked the start of preliminary design work on ESA's Asteroid Impact Mission, or AIM. Intended to demonstrate technologies for future deep space missions, AIM will also be the agency's very first investigation of planetary defense techniques. Launched in October 2020, AIM will travel to a binary asteroid system the pair did the most asteroids, which will come a comparatively close 11 million kilometers to Earth in 2022. The 800M diameter main body is orbited by a 170M moon, informally called Dida Moon. This smaller body is AIM's focus, the spacecraft will perform high resolution visual, thermal and radar mapping of the moon to build detailed maps of its surface and interior structure. AIM will also put down a land ESA's first touchdown on a small body since Rosetta Philly landed on a comet last November. Two or more CubeSats will also be dispatched from the mothership to gather other scientific data in the vicinity of the moon. AIM's findings will be returned by high-capacity laser linked to ESA's optical ground station on Tenerife in the Canary Islands. AIM should gather a rich scientific bounty gaining valuable insights into the formation of our solar system but these activities will also set the stage for a historic event to come, the space agency says. A similar collision was achieved back in 2005, when NASA's deep impact spacecraft shot a copper impactor into asteroid Tempel-1. But the Didymos moon is several tens of times smaller than Tempel-1, so much greater precision will be required to strike it and the possibility of altering its orbit should be correspondingly higher. The Didymos moon is nearly three times larger than the body thought to have caused the 1908 Tunguska impact in Siberia, the largest impact in recorded history. An equivalent asteroid striking Earth would be well into the city killer class leaving a crater of at least 2.5 kilometers across and causing serious regional and climate damage. The 2013 Chelyabinsk burst, whose shockwave struck six cities across Russia, is thought to have been caused by an asteroid just 20 m in diameter. AIM is also Europe's contribution to the larger Asteroid Impact and Deflection Assessment Mission, IDA. In late 2022, the NASA-led part of IDA will arrive, the Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART, probe will approach the binary system then crash straight into the asteroid moon at about 6 km s. AIM will be watching closely as DART hits Dida Moon, explains Ian Carnelli, managing the mission for ESA. In the aftermath, it will perform detailed before and after comparisons on the structure of the body itself as well as its orbit to characterize DART's kinetic impact and its consequences. The results will allow laboratory impact models to be calibrated on a large-scale basis to fully understand how an asteroid will react to this kind of energy. Tis will shed Please light. subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. You can visit us on www.therealthingmean.webs.com. Yeah.